It's not always a smooth ride to the Miss Philippines Earth Crown, let alone be a candidate with a big responsibility on her shoulders. Tonight, we have with us a group of women who work their way to become part of Miss Philippines Earth Royalty. Ladies and gentlemen, the past elemental queens and previous Miss Philippines Earth title holders. And of course, we also like to give our warm welcome to our special guests, the reigning Miss Earth heir, Michelle Gomez of Colombia, and Miss Earth 2016 herself, Catherine Espin. Welcome back to the Philippines, ladies. Thank you so much for being here in our event. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we won't keep you guessing any longer. After combining their preliminary scores in all four areas of the competition, plus the scores from the Miss Philippines Earth Organization, we will now meet this year's 10 semi-finalists. Mr. Ramon Dizon is here to give me the envelope, sir. Thank you so much. Top 10. All right, before I make the announcement, let's give it up for our 40 delegates on the stage. I'm a big fan of your work. Thank you so much for being here in the competition. From 40, let's have 10, and you are part of the list. Jessica Rose, McEwen, New Zealand. You can breathe now. Jessica Marasigan, Kalookan City. This could be your night. Rian, Charlotte, Kalaol, City of Lipa. This is your moment. Kim de Guzman, Olongapo City. A step closer to your dreams. Nelza Bautista Villanueva, Misamis Oriental. Five down, five to go. And you're part of the list as well. Karen Ibasco, City of Manila. Be proud right now. And Krisha Antonio Pora Bambanga. Claim your spot right now. Vanessa May Castillo Lobo Batangas. This is your chance to be Miss Philippines Earth. Catherine Tabiniag, Panglao Bohol. And completing our Magic 10 this year is from Angeles City, Corinne Frances Thiessen. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen, our Magic 10 vying for the title Miss Philippines Earth 2017. From 40, we have our top 10 on the stage. Before anything else, give it up once again for our delegates here. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you for being pride and honor in our country. Congratulations, ladies. All smiles. And anyone could be, anyone from these ladies beside me could be Miss Philippines Earth 2017. Man, congratulations. 
This is it. From 10, sino kaya maguwi ng corona? Oh, arena is getting wild right now. We'll be finding out in just a bit. But let me ask you, were you surprised with the results? Well, this time, no more surprises from this point onwards as the 10 semi finalists start on a clean slate and try to get an odd from these distinguished men and women. Ladies and gentlemen, our board of judges. So first, we've got the CEO of the Carbon Consulting Company in Sri Lanka, Sanith Wijayaratne. Good evening, sir. Up next, we've got the Senior Assistant Vice President for Operations of SM Markets, Bang Manalan. A multimedia celebrity and an iconic figure in Philippine pop culture, TV host, entrepreneur, and eventologist, the party meister, Tim Yep. A visionary fashion designer who embraces an ecological friendly design and sustainable production process, Tita Sandico Ong. Good evening, ma'am. We have with us the ambassador of the state of Israel to the Philippines, His Excellency. Ambassador Effie Ben Matetiao. The manager, Human Resources Development of Diamond Hotel, Philippines, the official residence of the Delegates, Sir Jeffrey De La Paz. Nice. A former beauty queen turned TV and movie actress turned founder of the most relevant beauty pageant in the country. The Executive Vice President of Carousel Productions, Miss Lorraine Shook. Good evening, boss. We got the Ambassador of Panama to the Philippines, His Excellency Ambassador Rolando Anibal Guevara Alvarado. Founder and CEO of One Mega Group, the ever fashionable publishing mogul, Sari Yap. And of course, our evening would not be complete without the driving forces behind Miss Philippines Earth, the executives of Catastrophe Productions, executive assistant to the president, Samantha Monzon. And vice president and project director, Pichi Veneracion. Lovely. And of course, the organization's able president, Mr. Ramon Monzon. Judges, good evening. Thank you so much for being here. Brace yourselves because you're in for one awesome treat. Our stage will look a lot bigger with only 10 remaining delegates vying for the title, but I heard it's getting a little crowded backstage. Let's check on Sandra and see what's happening back there. Sandra. Thanks, Robbie. We are still live backstage, and I've just witnessed an outpour of emotions. In fact, I'm joined by one of the delegates. Her name is Shaina from Lucena City. Shaina, how do you feel about tonight's results of the top 10 finalists? Um, actually, I am happy about the result. It was justifiable. And all of them are deserving to win tonight, especially the Miss Earth crowd. And best wishes and good luck, everyone. Now, are some of the finalists your friends, personal friends? Um, yes, ma'am. Um, like Miss Lobo Batanga, City of Lipa. They are my roommates, actually. Okay, now before we continue, I'd just like to ask about your gown. I heard that it is actually 100 50 kilograms of weight that you're carrying on your body. That's very brave of you. Can you tell us more about this piece? Uh, actually, this is just 30 kilograms, but <laughs> but it's really hard to fit and walk through it. But it happens in the stage, it happens in every beauty pageant, and I'm happy I overcome it. And thank you everyone for being with me tonight. Thank you so much. You look very brave out there and very beautiful. Now, I know you're still going to change up into another costume, so I won't keep you because you'll still be on stage a little later. And as we can see, the crown, journey to the crown may have ended for some, but it's only the beginning for the top 10 semi-finalists. Next up, we've got the sizzling swimsuit competition. So stay tuned right here on Miss Philippines Earth 2017.